Warhausman Diary, Jung's Theory of Work. When I was a little kid, watching every Sunday morning TV studio, I was always wondering why in fairy tales every guy is looking for a job. When the client came to Carl Gustav Jung and said he had lost his job, Jung said cheerfully, Great, let's celebrate. When the client said he had promoted at work, Jung frowned saying, Okay, let's do something about it. For years I've been trying to find the job of dreams to find my dent, as it is nowadays technically called. I sniffed with disgust to the digital nomads who earn by advising people how to earn money. So, remembering the good old C.G. Young's example, with the greatest effort I finally found myself a dream inferior job and started working as a warehouse man in a retail chain. I was excited from day one. So much work and for so little money, old Carl would have praised me. Listen, it is only at six o'clock in the morning that I have to take the pastries from the several bakeries that supply us and whose delivery trucks are blowing patiently from 5.50 at the gates of the warehouse. It is only some 80 or 90 crates of bread, bread rolls and all that puppy seed and cottage cheese stuff. All this count, stamp, take the section girls inside and return stuff what wasn't sold the previous day. As soon as the bakers leave, it is the turn of the vegetables and dairy products, yogurts, spreads and so on. There are only about seven pellets and thankfully I'm on my own. Unfortunately, all of this is quite cool. Fortunately, then finally the proper chase begins. There will be lorries with beer, coke, Pepsi, dumplings and pizzas and God knows what and in the meantime more trucks from our central warehouses bringing tea and coffee from far away countries, washing powders, noodles, biscuits, soups, spices, chocolates, crepes, booze, just all we don't know what to buy first. Every time there is a huge amount of something in discount. And then people jounce and push and buy it in bulk instead of buying what they originally wanted. The trucks arrive all day long. Thank God I don't have much time to go to the toilet. I run to open the front gate and close the rear gate when they leave. Because such truck does not turn just somewhere. Then I park and look for a place for all those high-rise pellets. It takes a perspicuity and proper orientation skills. All the space is calculated per millimeter. And if not, it costs life a lot of virgin olive oil. And a lot of instant coffee bags. For each pallet received, I usually give one blank back 
and it requires a special paper. Another paper shows who and how much it carries, how much it arrived, and gone. Everything that arrives in one day must be registered digitally and sorted out the same day. Barcodes become meaningless by this registration. Don't ask more. In my free time, I run to exchange new price tags in the section of mineral water, spring water, lemonade and beer. Refile shelves, print and expose advertising posters, etc. Also, transport full range pallets with goods in discount to the market, as we call it, it by professional jargon. Milk, sugar, coke, whatever. A pallet can hold 64 packs of 6 packs of coke. 61 10 packs of milk so I have a free gym at work that's the only disadvantage fortunately the boss and the section girls chase me badly so that I do not stop too much it is necessary to take down a few rows of toilet paper dog food and so on from the ceiling of 15 meters by the forklift. To do this you need first to clear the path and park the other pallets interfere in the way. Often I can do it in less than an hour. I'm still improving. I also have to run to the vending machine for bottles and sort the empty beer bottles. For this I had to create a special Excel table because of suppliers. The chapter itself are wooden, heavy and fragile boxes with chips and broken corners which do not fit to other common plastic beer boxes. There is definitely a lot of poetry in it. Well, I have more than enough time for all this. I start at 6 in the morning and finish at 7 or 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening so I can make it. In the future I am thinking of making better use of the few minutes when I run up the stairs to the dressing room roughly in the middle of the day to change into running nikes so I don't feel pain in my legs. In the evening I just wipe out the whole shop, sweep the outside ramp and yard and park all the shopping carts out there. That's I can only blame myself two half hours a day for a dry bread roll. Otherwise, I have no time to think about crap like who am I, where am I going and what my mission is. And I congratulate myself when I recall my initial spheres before taking up the fact that I might have time to read at when it comes to the boss, I can't say one bad word. He is a purely pragmatic man, fast and impersonal, and he enters all instruction while walking in a language that is familiar to me, but I do not fully understand it. The only exception was a recent interview that fixed my mood after a day's work swinging on the heels said, Robin, I will take those three days when your younger son was born off of your vacation. Yeah, and for the bottle of whiskey you brought it here as a celebration, I had a big mess. That, I confess, I felt guilty. When I dragged myself home that evening, I had a short talk to the youngest son who had
has just a newborn Koisko, he doesn't sleep and eat, just cry. And I said to him, work on it a little bit, you're a big boy now, you're almost three weeks old. And some of us need to sleep to work. He looked at me and then twisted his mouth and emptied the loudest lament he was capable of. So I look forward to work tomorrow. It's Sunday, so I've unfortunately the work will be 